Hello, welcome to my new video. I would like to tell you something about how to care winter squash. Squash is one of three plants in the Native American planting tradition known as the Three Sisters, which includes beans and corn. Beans offer a natural nitrogenic fertilizer, while the corn provides a natural trellis for the beans if they are of a climbing variety. Meanwhile, the squash can cover the ground quickly and discourage weeds. All winter squash varieties require a long growing season from 75 to 100 frost-free days. To give them the time needed to thrive and produce abundantly, sow seeds by late May in northern locations and closer to early July in more southern, warmer states. Harvest squash in autumn just before or just after fruits are fully mature. Skin will not be edible, but the squash will have quite a long shelf life. Some last through the winter, hence the name winter squash. Winter squash seeds germinate well when sown directly into the soil. Plant seeds one inch deep, two to three feet apart, or sow three to four seeds closer together in small mounds, hills, so that the soil remains warmer and drains faster. Arrange the groups in rows about three to six feet apart. Seeds will germinate in less than a week in a soil temperature of 70 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. In cold climates, it may be necessary to use row covers or protective frames during the first weeks of spring. Thin seedlings, when they reach 2 to 3 inches tall, snipping unwanted plants off the surface while not disturbing the roots of the ones that remain. Leave one plant for every 18 to 36 inches of space. Be careful not to overplant, as many full-size winter squash varieties require 50 to 100 square feet to spread freely. In a smaller garden, consider planting winter squash at the garden's edge and guide the vine across the lawn. Through the growing season, be mindful of the plant's shallow roots and the delicate quality of the vines. Winter squash prefers full sun. Plant in rich, fertile, well-draining soil such as loam. If needed, add age manure to the planting site, about 50% native soil to organic matter. Mixing deeply into the top 8 to 10 inches of the soil. Allow it to settle for a couple of weeks before sowing seeds. Maintain a pH between 5.5 and 5.9, though plants will tolerate a pH up to 6.8. Water well and often. Give plants at least one inch of water weekly. If the leaves wilt or plants are established in sandy soils, water more diligently. As fruits form, water frequently. Avoid wetting the leaves and fruit by using a small mouthed watering can directly on the surface of the soil into the roots. Otherwise, dampness may cause root rot and other diseases. Winter squash feed heavily on fertilizer. Before planting, soil can also be enriched with liquid seaweed fertilizer. In addition to mixing organic matter into the soil, Age manure or compost can be mixed into the water to make compost tea. When the plants first start blooming, scratch in about 2 tablespoons of all-purpose fertilizer or a generous amount of a liquid organic fertilizer or organic granular fertilizer around every hill. Avoid getting fertilizer on plants and water the plants after fertilizing. Feed plants about every 2 to 3 weeks. As fruits are more flower scheme, feed plants a little more. If you grow just a few plants, 
apply two to three tablespoons of a balance 10 10 10 fertilizer on each hill. Scatter it evenly and work it into the top three to four inches of the soil. If there is a larger plot, mix two to three pounds for every 100 square feet. Protect the shallow roots with mulch to retain moisture and prevent weeds. Winter squash seeds will germinate in soil that is between 60 and 105 degrees Fahrenheit. They will not germinate in cold soil, so do not sow until all danger of frost has passed and both the air and the soil reach at least 60 Fahrenheit. The ideal temperature is 59 Fahrenheit. So hope you like this video. If you have some experiences with uh, fertilizing or growing uh, squash, just write me in the comments below and I will be very happy for your thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you!